Chris Chom for kaijupulp.com and today we're playing Furious Stars by Kestrel Moon. It's, um, I'm not really sure what it is, actually. Uh, it's something, you know, usually I, I try to play as much of these things um, as I can bef before I do any video of it and then play a lot more before you review it and, um, yeah, I've been playing this for, for, you know, a little while now and I'm, I'm still not really exactly sure what it is. Um, it's kind of all over the place. Uh, it was, it sort of described itself in its um, app description as a turn-based real-time strategy game. Um, so there's oxymorons there from the get-go, uh, but that kind of drew me in despite the, the you know, art kind of being a little bit... I don't know, in, in parts uh, this game looks looks amusing and then in other parts it, it looks a little bit chunky. Um, and yeah, I'm not exactly quite sure how to play this particularly well, uh, as we'll get into here. So you start off um, by sort of allocating your units, although I've so far I'm not really sure um, what the, uh, you know, you know, what, what advantage it takes to withhold some units and, and why you wouldn't just invest all of them. Uh, I tend to all the time. Um, perhaps that's what I'm doing wrong, but uh, yeah, I think I'm ready there. Um, and it seems, you know, at the start of the game, there's, there's some kind of interactive fiction elements. There's decisions that you make that, that shape your landscape, and then it goes right this is going to be a strategy game. No, it's it's tower defense. No, there's some mini games to play. No, uh, here, like spin this wheel uh, to decide what kind of monsters you'll be fighting against. And here, there's fairies and stars and, and gods and all of this stuff. It it seems like there's there's so much going on in this game um, that it's it's really kind of unclear exactly what it is that that's going on but it's kind of castle defensey you've got these these you know this this city that looks a little bit chunky and the star that's that's flying through that that actually i find quite endearing and, and funny um and yeah every time so your mission objective is defend the town that's that's pretty much all you're doing in in every single one of these missions um so enemies come through in waves uh when i touch this thing that's the you know the downward arrow then i can bring up my uh you know my sort of unit list and at that point the game the game pauses um so i i can bring down some of my swordsmen and keep on tapping that, just plonk them in there, there we go, and a couple of archers, then I tap that, and then everything returns to real time, and then periodically, um, things will come, so here comes the stars, and the star god, he's gonna, like, spawn in a bunch of enemies, and, um, you know, I'm just gonna hit the, the little virtual button there, and everything calms down for a second, so the idea is quite sensible in a sense like a whole bunch of things will, will come at you and you can just hit a button s sort of survey the scene by moving two fingers around the screen which is a little bit awkward uh, on an iPhone it's it's much easier I suppose on an iPad to do that uh, I can zoom in I can zoom out and then I can draw an outline around my people uh, to command this bunch of troops and then I tap where I want them to go now the thing is, so far at least, uh, everybody just comes in from the right, so it, it's usually just go right, select everybody, and then say go go to the right, um, pretty much, and you're good. Um, yeah, this, I mean, this is where the sort of weird strategy, uh, not, there's not much strategy to this, uh, which, which makes me think... I must be missing something here because um, you've got this quite clever idea of, of hey pause queue up your actions and then go um, but it doesn't make any sense because everybody because you're on a 2d plane and your castles on the left and people are coming in from the right there's no need to do this you know and I, I haven't been able to where I have given some thought to the game and gone right I should position my archers well behind my front-facing swordsman 
um, I've actually died and I've had much better success just, just selecting everybody and going run to the right uh, because they'll take care of themselves, you know, they'll, they'll fight and stuff and you don't really have to think about much of anything, like, at all, really. Uh, this is, I mean, fairly early doors yet, but um, I just, yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure what is going on. And sometimes you'll have messages that say, the merchants are doing well. And then you go, well, well like, really? What? What effect does that have? I'm, I'm not exactly sure. And another issue is, um, oh, hello. Um, another issue is as well because you're because you're on this 2D side on plane. Um, yeah, every unit has a resource cost. You know, so it's like when you're in the plane, you get out of here. Uh, you people quite tired. Do 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 do. We could be in trouble here. Yeah, fellas. Could be in more trouble than, than Shameless in a bar fight. Um, what? I'm not exactly sure about that. Okay, yeah, so there, there is kind of... The problem is with everybody on a, a 2D plane, this outline effect um, is really, really difficult. You know, it, it's difficult to discern, okay, I just want to pull my archers back, um, or I just want to move my swordsmen forward, because everybody tends to clump together. Um, and by default, uh, everybody gets selected. Um, so that's kind of clumsy, but there are some, you know, these sort of virtual buttons at the top let me decide between different units and toggle them on and off uh, so I can order individual people. Uh, that's good. I don't think the game ever once explains that anywhere, so, um, you know, kind of tutorial stuff uh, could really be useful. Um, let's no, more, more people. I think we're screwed. These uh, these are quite tough. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's I've I've gotten this far, which is something like the, the fifth or sixth level, I think, um, and not really had a clear idea of you know why I I succeeded thus far and uh, when I'm now I'm about to fail and I'm not exactly sure why I'm failing um, you do have magic tricks that you magic tricks or magic sort of spells you build up mana as you go um, so you can spend that to take out stuff uh, there's going to be a wave coming in in 16 seconds I have no abilities so I need to I can recall these units and then I have more sort of attribute points to spawn swordsmen, but I'm not exactly sure how that works either, with these command points, because I suppose it's like you can recall archers and then turn them into swordsmen kind of thing. And swordsmen are useful because they are close up, they're like your melee units. Um, so when they all die, you can sort of bring them back. Oh, I didn't mean to do that at all. Hang on. Um, you know, when they all die, you can bring your archers back and then just have your swordsmen go in and, and you know, convert them into swords people. Um, and then the, the frame rate slows to the single digits, um, which, which isn't great. So yeah, uh, I'm now making mince of these orcs because I have swords people. Um, so right, so there it, it kind of, right, it, it is steadily making a, a bit more sense. Um, but it just, I mean, it's tactically really, really shallow because of the, the map you're on. Um, and it seems to make up for that. There's just a whole bunch of crazy ideas. Your merchant celebrates shopping this season. I have no idea what that means. Um, it doesn't explain anything. And um, that's, that's, not, that's not a good thing. You know, it, it would really help if, if things were a little bit more clear. <laughs> Um, you know, because I'd like to think I know, I should know what I'm doing, you know, by this point of the game. Um, I don't need to work of those. There we go. And as is the case with a lot of sort of tower defense game, it, it kind of often 
has a day-night cycle to each stage, and if you survive all the way through the day, then uh, this, this meddling star god will bugger off, and uh, you'll be safe for another day, kind of thing. Um, I think we're in trouble again. Oh, I can spawn those in more units. I don't know where that came from. Um, Take him out. Alright, I know what to do. See if we can dodge this. See if we can dodge this. Here we go! Take him out! Take him out! See if we can dodge this. And I can cast my fire thing. Take him out! Yay! Okay. It's been a close run before. So my my Blurry, muddy, kind of rubbish looking city can survive for another day. Hooray! Um, yeah, and then after that, it's there's a whole bunch of these screens. These little cutscenes, by the way, you can't skip. These animated menus, you can't skip at all. Um, you know, it's not even like they're especially pretty, but they take a long time to, to play out. And it's just, just move on. Just, oh. Uh, these interstitial bits are, are ugly, and they, they don't explain what they need to explain, I think. Um, so it would really help if you could just, just skip these things over, but um, still, I'm that much closer to finishing the game, I suppose. Just finished full five there. Um, yeah, and then there's, there's tech trees as well, and I have no idea how this works. Um, this just isn't something... It's not explained at all. Um, so some abilities are locked, and then it'll go insufficient funds. Now in the corner I have 13 buildings and 230 coins, right? So I go in here, and I can get, okay, so I can get a new archer for 100 coins. If you recruit, I've already had elven archers, so I don't know where I get new people from. Enforcer. I have no idea, like, you know, it's it's hard to really understand how the tech tree works because you're buying units in the same way you're also upgrading their abilities and then to exit this screen you, you hit the down arrow which is weird as well um, and then there's th this sort of stuff that's just... I don't know whether it's masking a loading screen but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I care and, uh, okay, so I, I've got one more new unit in here. So I'll have him, and I'll have them, and I'll have you. Oh, but I can't. Okay, I don't have any of those, apparently. Alright, 31. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's almost like every little bit in itself. Oh, yeah, and then there's these bits, right. Um, occasionally some missions you, you have to take care of cultists, but then there's every now and then there'll be a mini game where it will be tap green fairies to, you know, give yourself better chances or, or something or spin the wheel and make a deal kind of thing as, as well. So it's almost like individually, each individual element in this, if it looked a little bit prettier, um, would actually be pretty cool, but everything kind of happening at once and not really properly explained um, is just pretty annoying um, so yeah it's 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 almost oh. cool but it's it's not and um, right. that's kind of the issue here it's, it's just really confused and it's it's kind of um, everything happening at once and, and all guns blazing and uh, it just it needs to calm down it needs to calm down a little bit angry stars or whatever you need um, but uh, yeah it, if you think this this does look more appealing than I'm making it sound then it's on the app store right now for two bucks and uh, I'm gonna die here you can, you can watch me die they're making mince meat of me these enforcers they're no good at all Terrible, terrible state of affairs. Anyway, that's um, that's this, and uh, this is ChrisGrantForKojiPop.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.